Everything you gave him ready to receive I'm starting to see your purpose for me Now all you say is what I believe No more resisting your love's warm and brave my heart is open, I'm ready to change The way I see me older every unworthy of love Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my friend, Progress! Your heart, your heart, yeah. I'm learning to see you through your eyes. Oh, the image is getting clearer. <laughs> amazing, amazing, Jesus, amazing, great music. Great, great music by Hera Jason, The Way You See Me, featuring Progress. These are you know, uh, music uh, shows that from The Voice, uh, Nigeria, from uh, idols, Nigerian idols who are just doing amazing with great music. So uh, just, you could check them up on YouTube, on Spotify, great music. The Way You See Me by Perry Jason featuring Progress. Good afternoon and welcome to season four on Healthy Today, a health education series brought to you by Health Innovate Plus, a social enterprise that provides health education, humanitarian, and health consultancy services, and powered by I became your child education partner. <laughs> we are your hosts, Dr. Emeka Kanebi. A medical doctor and public health practitioner, and Mrs. Eve Kani, the a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? It's Zimozar in the studio, aka Zim. You're not going to hear much of his voice. He's actually asleep at this time, which we're thankful for. <laughs> but uh, pretty much soon, you might hear him speak, but it's okay. <laughs> so it's a blessed September, a season of rebirth. And we are so grateful to God and to you for the privilege to continue this series. This year, we leap. Stay tuned to the end of this episode. We have a surprise for you. Uh, it's an Ivy King initiative, and we'll talk a little about it. But after the episode, okay? So don't quickly log off <laughs> at the end of the episode. Very important information for you, our listeners. So stay with us as we take you on an exciting journey as we know more on what to do to stay healthy and how to do it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be the first to get updates of our new episodes and other content at Health Innovate Plus. I mean it. Follow us, okay? <laughs> and enjoy any of our previous episodes from the last three seasons on the go. And then we've had... Five episodes on season four already, so you can enjoy all of that. Um, we are also available on Spotify, and please follow us on Instagram at Health Innovate Plus. Today, on our sixth episode on season four, we discuss pox, P O X, pox. So let's jump straight into it. So who's ready for some illumination? Mm -hmm. I'm super ready, doctor. I'm super, super, super ready. <laughs> okay, so the pox are a group of complex diseases caused by specific viruses that are highly contagious. But the key to its manifestation or how they present are the eruptions, raised rashes that can be seen on the skin and on mucous membranes. Now, your mucous membranes are like the inside of your mouth, your inside of your anus, your vagina, basically inside of organs, all right? So those are mucous membranes. So you can see this rash on the skin or in those mucous membranes. But what comes to mind when you see or hear the word pox today? 
I know, some may say the M-pox, formerly known as the monkeypox, especially as it has been recently declared by the World Health Organization as a public health emergency of, internal, of international concern, pardon me. Others might think of smallpox, which was the first disease to be eradicated by vaccination efforts globally, or cowpox. And the list goes on and on. I know, there are quite a lot of poxes. <laughs> However, more popularly, the chicken pox may come more readily to mind as it is a disease that both children <laughs> and adults dread. Very dreaded. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we discuss briefly the chicken pox, the mm -hmm. chicken pox. So... What is chicken pox? I'm not even going to beat around the bush. What <laughs> is chicken pox, doctor? So the chicken pox is an illness that is highly contagious and usually manifests alongside other symptoms. But most obvious is the itchy, blister-like skin rash. So blister in the sense, if, if you've ever had a burn um, from hot water mm -hmm. or you use a machete to cut grass for a long time and not hold the machete properly, you see those raised uh, lesions that usually have like fluid within them. That's what's called a blister. Okay. And so a chicken pox rash would come as um, that itchy, but you'd see it like a blister um, with that's like a raised rash with like fluid inside. Okay. It is caused by a virus called varicella zoster. I know it sounds like a girl's name, but it's not. It's a bad virus, varicella Zoster, okay? Mostly children get chicken pox, but adults can get it too. Yes. It has become quite uncommon now, and thanks to the availability of vaccines against chicken pox. Yes, to be honest, it has really, really become rare because I can't remember the last time <laughs> I really heard um, someone had chicken pox. <laughs> yes, I, you're absolutely right, uh, Bive. Yes, very rare these days, but people still do get chicken pox. And that's why we're talking about it today. So prior to the vaccine being available, way back in the 90s, almost every child got chicken pox. Mm -hmm. And I say almost because someone in the studio did not get chicken pox. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. And, 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 and um, I'm thankful I've, I've gone past that already. So watch out. Watch out. <laughs> so this is one disease that is better to have as a child. I've ticked that box. Others are yet to tick it because they're no longer kids. <laughs> because once you have had it, that's the advantage. You can't catch it again. Yes, you can't catch it again. So I'm still at risk. You're yeah. still at risk, Eve. Hopefully I don't get it. Uh, yeah, hopefully you don't get it. Yeah, yeah. But although in medicine we are advised to never say never, getting it a second time like thunder striking at the same spot twice is very, very rare. Okay, so me getting it the second time is really your over Achilles overreaching. I won't get it the second time. <laughs> and, and you won't get it the second time if you've had it already. So just to note, the numbers of cases of chicken pox is gradually decreasing and it's really because of vaccination. So remember that vaccines really do save lives. Okay, so... However, vaccination for chicken pox is not 100%, okay, that your child or you yourself will not get a disease, particularly even chicken pox. The advantage is that if you are vaccinated and perchance you get the disease, the disease is usually mild, mm -hmm. all right? If, if that is mild, that means if there's um, no, 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 no vaccination, it's going to be very, very, Yes, very, it can really very... get really severe. You know, you have yeah. people affect uh, um, beyond just the rashes being extremely, you know, um, uh, everywhere, you know, and very painful and itchy. Some people have had the, the rash extend into, you know, like I said, into the, the vagina, into the anus and all oh my, of that. Yes, oh when it's very severe and sometimes even going into the brain, you know, causing an inflammation of the brain tissue, etc. Wow. You know, yeah, of course. So wow. the mild, the milder, the better. Okay. So getting chicken pox as an adult can be very, very, very debilitating. Okay. With worse symptoms, if they watch out. So the disease is usually mild. <laughs> it's usually mild in healthy children, but in some people it can be severe 
Okay, so with the rash, you can see, like I mentioned, you can sometimes for some people, you see the rash in the eyes. I know that's scary, right? You see it in the throat and you can see it in the anus and other mucous membranes. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so far for just, you know, talking about chicken pox. But what are the symptoms? How do I know that this thing is coming for me or has come for me? Hmm, somebody is scared in the studio. <laughs> but the symptoms, you know, this is another one, if I will tell you. The symptoms are usually, you know, non-specific, especially the fever, you know, malaria will give you fever, um, uh, a flu will give you a fever. So you have a mild fever, you could feel tired, you know, uh, you could lose appetite. I'm sure these symptoms, you know that if you have malaria or some other um, um, flu-like illness, you can have these symptoms. But what is quite unique is the rash, like I described. The chicken pox rash is usually itchy. And it contains fluid within it, okay? That's why it's called like a blister. So these small blisters, then they burst, they break, and then they dry off, okay? So you see the fluid come out, and then you see like a scab, which is like dried rash, you know, mm. come up. And those who have had chicken pox, you know what I mean, all right? Yes, yeah, so pretty much that's what you find with the symptoms. Mm. It's 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 actually quite tricky. Yes. Fever, fatigue, and re reduced appetite. That's like... A... Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, the banner for all diseases. Exactly. <laughs> so how how can I catch chicken pox? No, not to me. I, I really don't intend to do, do, you know, How, by God's how grace. can someone <laughs> catch chicken pox? <laughs> how, can, how can someone catch it? Yeah, so how, how people catch chicken pox is if you get infected with the virus... Okay, so what's the name of the virus? Varicella. Uh, yes, <laughs> you're doing very well. Varicella, you know, so that's how we remember stuff. So <laughs> varicella, I was like Marcella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but varicella uh, zoster is the virus not to catch, okay? But the question is, how do I get varicella zoster virus? So the virus spreads when an infected person coughs or sneezes. So you mm -hmm. see, hmm? Uh, and an uninfected person now breathes that same air. So you get the air droplets of vir uh, and the virus is within the air droplets, okay? Or if the rash of the infected person is touched. So remember I told you these rashes, they also leak. They can break and bring out fluid. So if I have contact with those, I could get the virus. Okay? So that means that even the person that is caring for of someone, course. someone that is infected can oh. potentially have. Perfect. Yeah. So like I said, usually um, people who care for them, like me, if I'm caring for somebody who has it, I'm not at risk because I've had it before. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not going to hear the last of this. You right? will not hear the last of this. Yeah. Good. So, uh, yeah. So the virus can spread, like I said, through uh, inhaling or breathing in the air of an infected person who coughs or sneezes, or if the rash of the infected person is touched. Also, the fluid from the nose, eyes, or mouth of an infected person, if they come in contact with you who has not been infected, you can catch the varicella zoster virus and then get to develop uh, chicken pox. All right? So the crazy thing is that a person who gets the virus for chicken pox becomes infectious. So let's say, I don't want to say if he gets it, but let's say somebody who has not been infected <laughs> gets the virus today. Before they start having the fever, before they start having the um, not feeling so well and all, and all, definitely before the rash, they can start, you know, they can start infecting someone. You see how terrible that is? It's even... <laughs> it's scary. Yes, I know, it really is. Scary. Because yes. you don't even know you're infected. Exactly. And you're already And you're already infected. Infection. It's like COVID. <laughs> it's pretty much like COVID. And a lot of the viral diseases... That's usually one of their, you know, the problems because before you yourself are really critically ill, and that if you remember very much well during the pandemic of the COVID-19 pandemic, that was the issue, you know. Some people did not even know they were infected and then they were already, you know, and that was yeah, the whole idea true, of, you know, um, um, you know, keeping a good safe distance, physical distance between people. Uh, they talked a lot about um, wearing uh, face masks. Mask, That's why you yeah. see some people when they have a flu, they Those just do that. And then they also talk yeah. about also proper um, ethics, yeah. you know, pro proper hygiene and then ethics for coughing. You know, you don't mm. cough out. You, you should have a clean cloth to cover 
your mouth or you cough into the angle of your elbow, okay? That's just on the side. So these people, like I said, they get infectious a day or two even before they start showing symptoms, which is very dangerous. But they stop being infectious only when, so listen, before you jump into start doing that or keep the, bring your child back to school, right? So until all the rashes have burst and they have dried off, all of them, I didn't say some of them or 90% of them, when all the rashes have um, burst and dried off, then yes, you can return. Um, and at this point, so even though, even though the rashes have not disappeared, you're back. But I can give you a time frame when you can know that this um, has happened. And that's usually between 10 to 14 days, okay? 10 dreaded to 14 days. 10 to 14 yes, days. the dreaded 10 to 14 days, yes. So you see the value of, uh, of being vaccinated. It's yes, just, yes. yes, exactly. So now, especially those who are at risk, you should get vaccinated. So who are those that are at risk? Those who have never had it those not vaccinated if you work in a school or a daycare facility if you are always around children so in fact all kids are at risk <laughs> especially those who are not vaccinated but the good thing now is that for the kids coming up right now so if you have mothers fathers if you check your child's vaccination cards you would see that your child will get or has gotten these vaccines already okay as they are part of the vaccinations that are available in Nigeria and at hospitals both public and private hospitals in Nigeria, okay? So the good news is that it can be treated and managed by home remedies and over-the-counter drugs, and it's usually not a fatal disease, usually. Like we say, we never say never in medicine, okay? Um, so um, really, the, oh, that's all we have for you today. That's all we have for you today on Healthy Today. <laughs> so our medical word of the week is <laughs> it's varicella 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 and varicella is spelled v-a-r-i-c-e-l-l-a v-a-r-i-c-e-l-l-a varicella <laughs> this is just another name for the chicken pox remember the name of the virus that causes chicken pox is varicella zoster you finish Diverse it zoster <laughs> varicella zoster virus or you call it the vzv varicella zoster virus okay and that virus causes the chicken pox and it's highly contagious remember that and it's a vaccine preventable disease so, Yvie, I know you have something for us. We've been vibing to this song yes, for yeah. some time. Oh, this is one of my new favorites. It's Omema by Chandler Moore. Enjoy. Make Enjoy. sure you're dancing Make too. Make sure you're dancing vibe. It's a good vibe. Can we turn up? Can we turn up? Can we turn up? Can we turn up? Hey. He really, really moves up. This where it says. I know he loves me. I know he cares. Whenever I call, he always is right there. In times of trouble, he is my help. Yeah, I know no fear. I know he'll be right there. Hey, he really does what he says, says he will do. do. My God really moves. Oh. Comes through. He always comes through. Come on, sing the verse, y'all. I know he loves me. I know he loves me. I know he cares. I know he cares. When I'm in trouble, he is my help. He is my help. Hey, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> he really does what he says he will do. Just just trust God. He will come through for you. I know this like I know the 
So I, you know, people really say like they know the back of their hand, but oh well, I think I know the back of my hand. So <laughs> God will come through for you. Okay. So good. So that was Omima. We vibe to it every morning to work. Most of the mornings to work. So yeah. uh, it's become a household song until we get the new vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So doctor's orders. So a child, especially between the ages of three and six years old, who is noticed to be ill with symptoms of a mild fever, uh, a mild fever, pardon me, loss of appetite, and other non-specific symptoms. You know what? Just watch out. It could be the early signs of a viral disease, like chickenpox. <laughs> so guess what? When your child is ill, please, and I know I speak for most of the teachers who are on listening on this call, and mm-hmm. my wife is one of them, please just keep your child at home oh, and then don't let them come back to school until you've been to the hospital and you know what's going on with your child. It could be malaria and your child could very well have to start in treatment, return to school when they feel better. Uh, but if it's something that you're not sure of, like a flu-like symptom, which is highly contagious, it could be as basic as uh, just the, 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 the normal flu, uh, you should just keep your child away so that you don't also infect other children. All right, that's my doctor's orders. <laughs> so let me say a quick prayer for you, okay? Dear Lord, thank you for everyone listening to this episode now, and thank you for life and health. Thank you for the knowledge of vaccines and the benefits it brings to us and our children. We pray for grace to survive and beat diseases even when we catch them regardless. And as usual, help us to make healthier choices so we can enjoy a healthy life today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So we've come to the end of this episode and I hope it has been educative and fun for you. Remember to hit the subscribe button and notification bell on our YouTube channel Feel free to leave your comments. I will attend to all of them. Listen, download, and share this and previous episodes on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, we leap. And now we grow together. Remember the surprise I talked about. Now we grow together. So introducing an Ivy Kane initiative. Some of you have seen our posters. They're on our Instagram page on health, at Health Innovate Plus. From our humanitarian arm of Health Innovate Plus, we present Something Blue. Something Borrowed. Yes. We hit the communities to reach babies and their mothers. Well, follow us on Instagram as the weeks progress and our other social media platforms for more information. And if you want to partner with us, We'll be more than willing to accept you. I promise you, you'll be excited about this <laughs> You one. will be excited about this one. We are growing. Yes, we are. You better key in whilst we are growing, because when we are when we are grown, <laughs> when we are big, <laughs> we are big. <laughs> we are bigger big. <laughs> See you same time next month. Sunday, October 27th, 2024, for another exciting episode. I think this will be one of our favorite episodes to come for a very long time. So we'll keep you updated. Thank you for joining. Let's bye. Let's bye. Thank you for joining. Bye.